And we got the Alavast Oracle. Da -da 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 Alavast Oracle. That's the theme song. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you just open it up and it plays that every time. Alavast Oracle, uh, priced three copper, so you know, uh, three holes and a bit of change. Uh, Alavast, wandering jo jollies, circus, scintillate, citizens. The city of Alavast sees the opening day of Pippington Better Bottoms, wandering jolly circus. Oh, by the way, Ro Warlock, thank you so much Dave, for this. The name game is like 10 out of 10. Peter, Peter Butterbutt. <laughs> Warlock 101, 1985, thank you for the 700 bits and change. By, uh, the first of its kind to brave the ocean transit and visit our fair continent, the circus promises to wow and astound, and is hopefully the first of many such visitors as our fair nation established herself within the global scheme. The circus offers a variety of oddities and marvels, from the Anelvan family engaging in aerial acrobatic upon a trapeze, to eclectic orc clowns, to exotic animals and strange freaks of nature. They pride themselves on the dip dispensation of jollies to audiences of all shapes and sizes. So far, they seem to be delivering on their lofty promises. They, the, the, the turnout for the Traveling Circus has been astounding, rivaling Alabast's most anticipated festivals at times. The circus has, of course, been popular among the youth of Alabast, who have taken more glee from the name of the circus than the div div diversions at times. We were at Peter Butter Butterbutt's house today. I, s I saw a tiger, and it growled at a man. But it was a really nice tiger. It even let the man put his head inside its mouth. It was scary, but only a little, said Susan Cooper, a human girl who saw the circus with her family. Not everyone was pleased with the circus. Some citizens felt unfairly excluded from some of the activities due to restrictions that were deemed, quote-unquote, race-sensitive. A height restriction. Uh, a height restriction, said Cecil C Crumpus Boom. Crumpus Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know our, a gnome sewer great repairman. I take my children out for a day, and we can't go on a rubbish giant wheel with carriages attached to it because of height restrictions? Excuse my language, miss, but what the- what a bloody load! Overall, though the reception has been positive, city leaders have elaborated upon the value of the circus visiting the city, stating that the willingness of such a broad and labor-intensive enterprise to cross the ocean to Alabas was symbolic of the country's burgeoning wealth and importance. While none of none can be reached for comment, there have been reports of Lady Eyeless enjoying the circus, eating a fried cheesesteak on a stick. There was a flip side to this as well, however. Some reports and rumors have indicated that the arrival of circus in Alabas coincides with the travelers being placed under investigation in other nations due to mistreatment of animals and ensuing citation by multiple druidic guilds. These reports were continued on page eight. That's this is great. Pepperdine Bottoms Wandering Jolly Circus. That is a terrifying orc. Oh. <laughs> Da 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 circus. Da 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 da. Okay, okay, circus. Okay, circus. Okay, panic from the grim tongue, grim tongue, grim tongue. Clown orcs. That might be the scariest thing I can imagine. That that's why I'm just like, oh dear God, no. We got two of these to go through today, so I'm trying to get through this. I oh, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to like area acrobatics. Astound audiences. Circus treats kettle corn. An actual spell for kettle? An actual spell. Wow! <laughs> a recipe! Jesus Christ in heaven. Spell. Oh. Wow, that was a Freudian slip if there ever was one. Match is real, guys. Haven't you ever seen a child smile on Christmas morning? Sure. No. Whoa. No. <laughs> Sad face. You weren't no. given a lot. <laughs> wow, you weren't given a lot of mirrors as a kid, were you? Anyways, letters to the lady <laughs> hope live Rosia. Please, pet at Grim Tongue, please check it. Oh, checks! Mixer! Check Mixer, oh my god. Another 10,000. 10,000 bits from Check Mixer. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck rage? All the bins. Oh! Helix, oh my god. I'm gonna steal the title for a single night and I have it taken back at the same night. Only at Bitomania. <laughs> Helix with 11,500 bits probate. Ah! No! Nani! <laughs> Nani! Oh my god, he got black and whited! Ah! Oh my god! A big shout out to Check Mixer. Oh my god, for the 10,000 bits. And Helix for just going in there, just like dabbing in real fast and removing his heart. Death, death to the bit god! All hail the new bit god! Helix Ox!
<laughs> well, choose a lady of Livrosia, please. My goodness. I will say we we might have another issue of the uh, the uh, the Alabaster Oracle, Oracle as well. So just a heads up on that. Yeah, no, I don't want to like delay this, but I really want to like just look at some of this. Like, I'm so sad. You know, a day at the circus. Tales from the town. Please, guys, if you haven't checked this out already, there's so much work goes into this, guys. Like, uh, like, uh, like an, an incredible amount. Like when Nick found out about this, he was blown away that fans were doing this. Oh yeah, it's great. I remember poking my head. They, they, they organize themselves on the uh, official Unexpectables Discord, so that's where they kind of do it. So if you're interested in kind of getting involved, it's a bit of work, but it's a nice, cool fan project. I quite like it. Yeah. Yeah. Big, yeah. big shout out to. Uh, One uh, but big shout out to at Jim the Rabbit Cow, at Sword Cooper, at Voodoo Soviet, at Poisuit47, at Froggy's Mom, at Kiara Ryan One, at Jackson Jensen, at The Threadweaver, and at Boom1327. And what were you going to say there, Sam Meek? Oh, I was just going to say, uh, like, when when enough issues of these come out, we need to, like, see about, like, getting a, a book made or something. I think that'd be really neat. Wow. Well, we if that was the case, we I want to make sure that everyone was monetarily like. Uh, yeah. The yeah. only the only problem with that is not a lot of this is canonical. So. Yeah. You just still, haven't made, just haven't made words no. non-canon. It'd be, it'd be nice to have a place where it would be hosted, which isn't Twitter. That's the only thing I would say. I'd love. To yeah, that's it. that's that's more what I was going for. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Hello. Hello. And love. Well, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. 